Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. So anybody that has updated their phone to One UI 3.0 from a previous version does know that they have lost the ability to have the medium power savings mode plus the 120 hertz refresh rate on at the same time. So with One UI 2.5, for example, you could have had 120 hertz refresh rate and also medium power savings mode at the same time, which a lot of people were enjoying. Now with One UI 3.0, that was patched, but now we do have a workaround. And of course, a huge shout out goes to Mr. Officer 81 from Instagram for bringing this to my attention and letting me know that it is in fact possible. Now, if you guys have any tips and tricks you wanna share, you can simply go to Twitter, Follow me, send me a message. We'll make a video and you will get a shout out. Now, first and foremost, let me go to my settings real quick and I'm gonna go down over here. I'm gonna go into my battery and device care and then I'm gonna go into my battery and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down over here. I'm gonna tap on uh, power savings mode, okay? I'm gonna just enable this and look at what happens. The 120 Hertz is gone, okay? So when I go back into my display, Okay, there we go. Display motion smoothness is now in standard and the adaptive option or the 120 hertz option on the Note 20 or the S20 is not going to be uh, clickable because we have the battery on medium. So now let me show you the workaround so you can actually have them at the same time. So the very first step actually is to turn on the medium power savings mode which I have just done. So simply just go to your um, battery, tap on the battery here, and just enable the power savings mode. Or you can go to your quick toggles and you can do it right from there, no problem. It's right over here, on and off. So we're good with that. So make sure that is turned on. And the next step is gonna be, you are gonna go into your settings, okay? What you can do is you can go into the uh, general management, you can go into reset, and then you wanna look for this option. You wanna look for the reset all settings option. Now you wanna make sure you don't do a factory data reset. All you wanna do is reset all settings. Now once you reset these settings, you are gonna reset any configured settings in your entire settings apparatus here. So just be prepared for that. That's the only price you're gonna pay, but then you can reconfigure them to your needs after we uh, activate this 120 hertz plus a medium power savings mode. So I'm going to do this right now. That's step number two. Reset all settings. Okay, by the way, if you don't find these, just go to the main settings, tap on search, and just type in reset all settings. And it's going to show up right there. It's going to take you straight into that screen. So I'm going to tap on this one, and it's going to ask me to reset the phone. So let's tap on reset settings. Okay, I'm going to dump in my pin number, which is something it's going to ask you to do, and then tap on reset. Okay, restarting the device to reset the settings. And what's gonna happen is once the phone restarts, and it might take a couple extra seconds, okay? It's normal for it to take a couple extra seconds to restart when you use the reset all settings option. Okay, so the phone has now restarted. I'm gonna actually unlock it. I can already feel the 120 hertz refresh rate. We have it right now. This is fantastic. It's a nice little workaround. I'm gonna to go to my settings just to confirm it. I'm gonna to go to display. I'm gonna go into motion smoothness. And as you can see, we have the adaptive option. And if I go back to my battery, just to make sure we have the power savings mode enabled, I'm gonna to go to battery. I'm gonna go into battery again. And then at the bottom, the power savings mode is in fact enabled. So you got your 120 Hertz and your power savings mode. It's fantastic. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.